everyone. I'm in San Francisco today by the Cliff House oceanfront. Today I'm going to take a slight departure from the usual custom motorcycle content that I shoot and show and instead show you old school American muscle car. For those of you who are interested, you're in for a nugget of a treat. And for those of you who aren't, come for the ride anyways, because I think it'll be a lot of fun. Having said that, I want to introduce you to David Competente. Dave and his son own this car, and uh, yeah, check it out. I'd love you to listen and have a look-see. All right, we're gonna go for a little ride. And have some fun. You can hear everything, right, Dave? Yep, everything. No insulation in this car. Like it's motor, piece of metal, yep. and motor, that's it. And a piece of carpet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll let these cars go for a bit and then you have some. 67. What's under the hood? 350. What's that? 350? 350. Yeah, I'll light them up. It'll pick up the wheels, that's for sure. It's a 1967 Camaro RSSS. RSSS stands for uh, Rally Sport Super Sport Car. So it's a limited edition uh, convertible with a uh, 350 four-speed manual transmission. Do you know how many models were, like how many uh, were made during that time? I, I believe in the RSSS model convertibles, I believe that there were 2,200 made. This car, was it originally a, a Bay Area car? So the car originally came from uh, Central Valley, California, right, in the Fresno area. And then the people that part purchased the vehicle in 1967 moved to Illinois in 1968. So the car resided in 1968 until, say, 19, maybe? And then it found its way to Arizona. Custom car, uh, restorer uh, acquired a car and from there um, my son actually found it classics online or something like that and uh, we flew out to Arizona from San Francisco to take a look at the car he fell totally in love with the car and it had to be the car that you know he wanted he, one the car was red and he was looking for a red car and it is a numbers match car from the factory so whatever it came with equipped from the factory line, like the engine, the transmission, the rear differential, uh, down to the interior, the color, the color code, uh, it is the exact numbers uh, that came from the factory on the line on this specific car. So every number on the car matches from the VIN number all the way to the engine block number, to the transmission number, to the rear end number. Wow, how, how rare is that? It's pretty rare. It's harder and harder to find. Um, you know, I've been I've been in the to old school muscle cars since I was 16 back in the 80s, where you could find the cars anywhere. You know, but now to actually look for one, we have to go out of state and uh, find ones that are clean or unmolested. The way we put it together, the way that my son and I's ideas of putting it back together is is to make it more original like it came off the showroom floor so nothing was modified nothing was hot rotted we didn't put uh, modified suspension bigger wheels uh, we didn't change the color of the car didn't change any of the striping I mean as you can see in the car itself the rear seat of the car is still original from 1967 the front seats have been reupholstered but to the original factory color uh, the carpet's been replaced but everything else is like as far as door panels and dashboard, uh, it's still the original equipment that came with the car from the factory. So nothing, no, there's no modifications to it down to the way the car steers, the way it drives with the heavy clutch, with the way hard shifting. I mean, we put nothing hydraulic or nothing to modify it to make it like a modern day car. Everything is being used and driven just like it was in 1967. 
even just as far as the noise that what you can hear in the car itself the noise of the engine the noise the whining of the transmission uh things like that on a newer car you would, would you would not hear anything at all it would just be silent you know so this car's i mean like the car even has the original am radio only you know so so the whining noise that you hear is the the gear lash of the transmission where in the old in the old days in the 60s and older or even in the 70s they didn't put a lot of uh, noise detonator in the floorboards or anything like that so you you're basically just hearing every whining noise every noise of the engine and transmission uh, where the new cars nowadays they're so well padded so well insulated and uh, just made for comfort that uh, it's still a hot rod muscle car that they call them nowadays the new stuff but it's not real American muscle where it's so harsh and it feels like a dragster you know? right. so. but I actually love the sound of the rumble oh yeah it, it, it's beautiful you know I mean if you if you like the noise and you, you like the smell of the raw fuel I mean old school is the way to drive yeah. well I love the smell of the raw fuel that's yeah. for sure <laughs> you know the car in the condition that it is in right now it came in the factory red with the factory red interior with a white top so everything that you see on this vehicle it is originally from the factory the mod Modifications that were done on the car were that the car was repaint not I'm sorry not repainted but re-clear coated over the original paint uh, the front two bucket seats are new uh, as far as the upholstery itself uh, because of the wear and tear from 1967 uh, the engine itself is still the factory 350 with the factory uh, four-speed Muncie M21 transmission the only modification to the motor is, is that we changed the ignition system to electronic ignition and the transmission was built, rebuilt, the factory transmission was factory built, numbers matched to the car. So the engine is a 350, 295 horsepower Chevrolet motor and it still uh, carries the factory SS chrome air cleaner top lid with the uh, valve covers and the orange Chevrolet uh, engine color. Um, all the SS cars came with a chrome air cleaner with chrome valve covers and everything that you pretty much see in there is from the factory. So here's how times have changed. I mean they used to have cigarette uh, ashtrays in the back you know and on both sides and then you could see the patina and everything where it's original where things are just starting to fade out yeah for a car back in 1967 i think it's in in great shape the gauge pack uh, in the center council and no it not necessarily limited but what it is is that it only came in on certain models like uh ss's z28s uh rally sports it, it was an option factory option that you could purchase the steering wheel is original 1967 you could see the wear on the uh, steering wheel where it's turning black because the color of the steering wheels coming off with the prices that the cars are selling for nowadays um, yeah there's just no way that you could buy those many cars um, you know unless you're a millionaire or billionaire <laughs> uh, I mean the values of the Camaros have went up a lot uh, from the time you were from from the time when I started buying car, Camaros in say the late 80s where they were you can get a car for anyway from 500 to 3500 dollars to the the last Camaro that I purchased in I believe 1999 was about ten thousand dollars and that was for my RSSS convertible 68 to the price of this car now where you or you're buying a car that's all numbers match for about seventy-five thousand to hundred thousand dollars. Wow! So I think it's a, a big change in price.